We've already seen a few ebbs and flows on the young season for R.J. Barrett. A self-admitted slow start followed by an offensive explosion that was highlighted by a career-high 35 in New Orleans. But he's quieted down again, just 6-15 and 9 points over his last three games, respectively. Do you think Mr. R.J. can find some consistency this year? Or are we just going to have to settle for his up-and-down nature uh, for the rest of his career? Or I should say for the rest of this season, because anything could change uh, leaders to come. Well, as I like to call him, Broadway Barrett, number nine, he'll be all right, man. We saw the offensive explosion in New Orleans. It was a great sight to see. He cooled off a bit against the Cavs. Yeah, I, I thought that was more of a product of just his shots just not falling. I thought he did get some shots in rhythm and, and it just wasn't there for him. Last night, was I thought it was a product of, you know, listen, we got blown out. We were getting blown out by 24 points. There was no flow to the offense and Tibbs ended up going with the second unit, rightfully so, to close the game. But one thing that Tibbs says is that, you know, when you're not shooting the ball well how are you impacting the game and when i go back to that philadelphia game where look he had 15 points it wasn't an efficient night for him but in that fourth quarter when philadelphia was closing the gap rj made some clutch plays in that fourth quarter one as a playmaker found alec burks for a corner three which was notable and then on the following play hit a three-point shot himself if if he makes two more three-pointers that almost go down in that game he, he goes from 15 points to 21 points and maybe you know we're not talking about a, a slow start or, or a regression there. I'd like to ask Sean, you know, he, he did mention us getting out in transition and pushing the pace more. I think that's an area where RJ can excel, but what about maybe giving RJ a bit more playmaking opportunities within that starting unit to kind of help alleviate the pressure on uh, on Julius Randle where, where Kemba's just not getting it done right now? Well, hey, look, you know, it's it's like you're in my brain right now because that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to talk about. Yeah. I want Tibbs to actually mix it up a little bit with RJ, allow him to run the point every now and then to get his juices going. Let him play because look, guys, look, look, listen, we we know RJ Bear is not the most athletic guy on the team or in the league. He's not. He don't have the quickest first step. What RJ, now he's gotten better. He's shooting the ball a lot better. He, you know, RJ is the type of guy that he's gonna, he's gonna do whatever it takes to win. He, you know, he's a very good complimentary piece in the NBA. Now, I'm gonna I'm a spin it a little bit here. Will he finish his career with the New York Knicks? I doubt, but that's another oh. story for another oh, day. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. I, I just don't, oh, I just don't, and I, Look, yeah. look, I got y'all jumping now. All right. I just don't think he'll finish. But 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 to your point, to, to to your question, I think if we can get RJ in transition more, you will see a much more energized. I mean, it does something to him. You go back to his days at Duke. Now you talk about the six fifteen and 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 the last three nine. games or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, six fifteen and nine. So you gotta understand in his pre-draft report. They talked about how RJ disappears sometimes. Mm. Now, and it's 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 holding true now that he's with the Knicks. But listen, if 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 we can get him playing the point in some possessions, if Tibbs can just get him at the playmaking uh, spot and just allow him to get that feel and, and get comfortable and you know make a couple of passes, I think that will bode well for the Knicks down the stretch. And I definitely think that it will help RJ with his confidence moving forward. You know, the interesting thing is, is you brought in Kemba Walker, you brought in Evan Fournier, and, and you wanted them to make plays for you if you're the Knicks. And then where did that leave RJ Barrett as a playmaker? It's 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 a little trickier to fit him in in that role, a role that I thought he thrived in at times last year. Uh, specifically to that, Sean, what are you seeing from RJ in terms of his pace when he has the ball in his hands and his decision making? It seems like he's become more comfortable kind of pulling it out, resetting and waiting for the screen. How are you seeing that from him? Look, we all want to see the 35 point RJ Barrett night in and night out. The, the New Orleans Pelicans game RJ Barrett night in and night out. But let's be realistic. That's not going to happen every night. But to answer your question, his pace has gotten a lot. His pace with the ball has gotten a lot better from his rookie year. He looks really comfortable, like you said. I just think uh, RJ, when he when he's in when he has the ball in his hands, I think he's method he, he's very methodical with it. And I think you just gotta allow him to just free flow, come out of the, like he did with New Orleans. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't even thinking; he was just playing. 
Mm-hmm. And I think he gets in, 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 in into that thinking mode sometimes where, I, you know, like I said, he's a complimentary piece. A lot of people don't might not understand what that means, but sometimes I think he can take the lead when Julius is not in the in the offense. I think he can he can really relish into that role of somebody that that can can lead the team, can 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 initiate offense, can play isolation, can can uh, you know play in the in, in in the pick and roll. And and I like I said, will he ever be an All Star? I doubt it. Will he ever be first team all defense? I doubt it. I mean, he said that at the beginning of the year, but he looks really good in those when he's when he has the ball in his hands and, and playing. With the game.